Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode four of Mary Kitchen. So let's go ahead and get started. And three, two, one, go. Let me. Can I move this? Yes. Okay, there we go. Because I don't want that to like psh, all up in my face. Uh-oh. Are you sick? No, you having a bad dream. Uh, that's worse. Oh, right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> You okay though, right? Yeah, kid girl, you kept saying no, stop. Don't pay attention to me. I'm putting perfume on. I'm sorry. Muddy. Bye, bye, bye. Oh, hey, Cody. Test not pudding. Hey, Hannah. Well, damn, Hana, what the heck are all you getting? Do you have enough money? Mm -hmm. Just give it a hundred and ten and leave. Give it a dollar ten and get out. Oh, is it gonna? Oh, okay. I thought pus was about to come out, but like, oh, ew, no. You know, in a weird way, it kind of looks like a really deranged version of Cynthia, the doll from Rugrats. I cannot believe... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is me. Like, straight up. Kaede is me. Kaede Hondo Hana. Hana Kaede Hondo.
This is reminding me of that one American Horror Story episode. <laughs> I know, it's very obviously. It's like that one time in um, Pop Team Epic where they edit in, I think, the girl from the garage. <laughs> Okay. Sure. Uh-oh. Oh, oh my god, this is instantly freaking it now. Oh, what the? A ghost can be that tiny? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Yeah, he's very harmless. Girl, don't do that again. No, 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 no. Because a big one. Mm -hmm. Big one. Oh. It was a trap. It was a trap to lure her hair. Oh, my God. Just turn around. Go get you. Yeah, uh huh. Turn around, turn around. Just oh, are you, uh uh. You know, honey, that's what I want to know. Why would you follow the little ghost old man? Just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then get it, turn around, and book it. Oh, okay, never mind. Nope, nope, nope. You got any more money on your baby? It's just, oh, God. Oh, oh. Just don't look directly up at it. She screwed. You know, it's now for you to go. The crow took it. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, you know, a bird took her five hundred yen coin. Yeah. By a crow. Yeah. You know, like crow from Persona. Oh. Please tell me the. Are you serious? Bruh. Are you kidding me?
Are you freaking kidding me? How many minutes do I have left? What's 13 minutes from now? Oh, God. Um. Alexa, what's 13 minutes from now? Okay. So. Nothing. Alright, so I should be done by 5 30. You know, it's just at that time when the one, you know, we just care about one thing and one thing only. <laughs> you really think she made up that whole crow story for a guy? Nah. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, because she's your brother and, and, you know, you're close, but it's not that, babe. so cute. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think you get too, babe. <laughs> Oh, God. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. No. Oh, God. His precious eyes. He like, what, 10? Well, I mean, you're good and good at the. Oh, God, we're going Freddy Krueger now. Honestly, it made it very obvious that it was going to kind of do the Freddy Krueger thing, you know, show up in the bathtub. Honey, look at the water. you do in that situation i just I, i'll be like you know i'm i'm gonna head out <laughs> and be like bruh no this ain't for me <laughs> no no you ain't tired you actually saw oh mm -mm. get out get out Get out! Okay, I get out. 
Not you! Get, get, get out of the bathtub! Oh, the thing getting up too! Oh! Help! <laughs> oh God! Yeah, you know, just a brother and sister washing each other's bags, that's all. No. But she's telling you the truth. <laughs> So, any ghost? Maybe one day you won't see them anymore. Because we, in a way, we still, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, we don't really know why she's seen them. <laughs> to see a floating head <laughs> and then a farm sticking up out of the trash. Ah! Oh, you better hope no one ate that chestnut pudding. The kids can literally tell. Oh, Jesus Christ. I feel bad for Miko every day. Uh. No, no, she got enough sleep. She just, you know, come downstairs and she see boom, spirit, ghost. No. There is a ghost right there, ma'am. You just don't see it. I'm not hungry. He just laid all up on that. Yeah, because, you know, the ghost just licked up her food and slathered all his saliva up on that. You want to eat that? Like, mm-mm. That is so gross. <laughs> nah, you know, how about y'all two stay, stay safe? Like, Jesus. Oh, are you going to give him the pudding? Oh. Oh. Me 
に行こう Baby, I didn't know, but at least we got to know that. Like, her dad was just there talking and everything. I'm thinking, oh, okay, he fine, but I never would have thought that. No way, but because I was thinking, like, you know, just the spirit was attached to one of them. If it wasn't Kyosuke, it had to be her mom or her dad, but wow, that's sad. But at least, you know, he's in a better place and still watching over them now. I mean, this is a really interesting episode. One, to see the POV of Kyosuke. Because, I mean, Kyosuke is a very interesting little kid. He he reminds you <laughs> of not an annoying sibling, but just one of those siblings who just, you know, wants to know a little bit more about his brother or sister's, like, Old, like life and it's like that he cute like he just adorable he just wants what's best for her and wants to keep her safe so he's literally gonna do everything in his power to be like hold up wait wait, wait. are you really good for my sister like mm, mm. <laughs> so it makes you wonder with the conversation that Kyosuke was necessarily having with his dad. Does that mean Kyosuke can see spirits as well too? So then he can see the same things that Miko's currently seeing as of now? And if he does, why doesn't he just say something to her? So then they can have something to bond over because it's just, right now it's just Miko and Miko only. Can we change the channel? Because Mr. Spirit on the right hand side. Mm. The commercial too? So is she just reliving this again? I don't think that's a good idea. If you say so. Oh. <laughs> I see them too. Oh, so that means the blonde girl is finally probably going to say something. I mean, because, okay. Cause, I mean, it makes real sense. You're calling the next episode, I see them too. So she's going to have an appearance, I mean, well, her second or third appearance in the show. And I think that's when we're finally going to see her connect with Miko and everything. Because, obviously, I don't think it's Kyosuke. That, that whole uh, second half of this episode really was a flashback about her dad and everything. And for him to move on, even though he... he he has, but then he hasn't, but he's still there watching them like a guardian angel at the end of the day. And because, of course, you know, he wants to see how his family is doing, even though the fact is that he is gone, which is sweet and such. You really just, even though you can't see them, you can feel them all around you. And it's just the greatest thing in the world. Um, but yeah, it's sweet and adorable. Like I said, Kyosuke is just, <laughs> he adorable. He adorable. He cute. <laughs> <laughs> has a little bit of his own moments like bruh I'm like please tell me you were not getting the hot for your sister please like yes y'all took baths together but please let's not go that route I already get that with freaking um a regular at magic high school and I love their dynamic and everything but uh, <laughs> you know I will take one for this year and then next year is gonna be part two of a regular and I don't like <laughs> But it's cute. I mean, like I said, he's very protective over her. I think because of the fact is ever since 
his dad has passed away. He's kind of had to be the man of the house. And so um, even though his mom is the one who both necessarily takes care of him and Miko, he still is like, you know, I still want to be the quote unquote family man, even though since dad is no longer here for us, because you're going to need someone to, you know, have a shoulder to cry on when you're upset, even though I think she's going to be um, in the comfort of both of her kids. But in, in a way, there's still a lot of unanswered questions with this, especially with the dad, because we don't know how the dad passed away and everything. It could have been sickness. It could have been anything. It could have been sometime after that he got the chestnut pudding and he ate it. And maybe he went out one night driving and got into a wreck and something like that. It's probably something we will never unfortunately get answered but it's okay other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode four of mariko chan if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the metro squad and of course i will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next sunday for episode five bye guys